Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the various elements of grace and the work of salvation, and today we'll talk about justification. Now, first of all, no unredeemed person can ever be justified. Justification is literally impossible unless the debt has been paid for your sins. However, since Jesus paid that debt, eternal life is open to us if we accept it. Accepting the gifts that Jesus has to give isn't difficult. However, it does require some effort on our part. That debt that Jesus paid was more than enough for everyone, but he won't force us to accept his gift. In order for us to accept it, we must participate in a sacrament that he instituted. Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to thee, unless a man be born again of water and the Holy Ghost, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. John 3, 5 Water and the Holy Ghost, where have I heard that before? I indeed baptize you in the water unto penance, but he that shall come after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire. Matthew 3, 11. When Jesus sets this condition of being born again of water and the Holy Ghost, he is referring to the sacrament of baptism. I've already done episodes on baptism, episodes 141 to 145 of Clean Cut, to explain its role more thoroughly, but for now, it's enough to say that baptism of some valid sort is needed in order to bring us back into a saving relationship with God, a state that we refer to as justification. Once you've been justified, you're still redeemed, but now you've accepted the gift of Jesus, and you're cleansed of all your sins. On top of all that, the righteousness of God is granted to you, so that you can enter the presence of God. But surely being cleansed of sin isn't permanent, right? Well, no. If you commit any more sins, you're no longer clean, and will need further purification before you can enter heaven. That's what purgatory is for, unless the sins are mortal ones. We've covered this before, but mortal sins are sins which are committed with full knowledge of what you're doing, yet you deliberately decide to do it anyway. There are also sins that are about grave matter, meaning they break one of the Ten Commandments. Check out episode 73 to 137 for a full list of sins that break these commandments. Even a single mortal sin goes so far against the will of God that it's essentially a rejection of his saving plan for you. That can cost you your justification, and you can end up going to hell for that. However, if you later repent of your sin and want to be forgiven, just go to confession and do the penance that the priest gives you. You'll be forgiven of all your sins again and return to a state of justification, though you may still need further purification before being admitted to heaven. There are various ways to do that, however, and in any case, it's better than ending up in hell. Next time, we'll look at the highest state that a human soul can attain, our true intended end, salvation. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.